Spot, pop, pop. All right, let's see what we got. Nancy's death hook already? What? See what you did to your team? Man, they can't survive like 10 seconds without me. Come on, guys, step it up. Bunch of potatoes. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go around and just uh, crack open all his traps. All right, you run. He's blind. I healed him right there. All right, so first of all, no Mori. That's good. Nancy's being targeted again. Spies from the shadows, dear soccer experts. Okay. So he's got tracking perks. Free Meg, I gotta go save what's her face. Never mind. Got the things that helped me yesterday. Now I play with some same chair. It's better than Milky Way. Ha ha. You're right. <clears throat> yeah, they now they uh, they say that they accept cards now. Like they just fixed the payment. Man, apparently I got some influence. Ouch! Excuse me, sir. Keep your blades to yourself. Thank you. Please keep your personal items to yourself. You know what's really cool about FMP, like besides everything, but like something else that's really cool about it? I'll tell what? you, I'll tell you without asking. What is I, really cool about it? Well, there's a lot of things cool about it, but, but like something extra cool about it is that- It's extra cool. As of now, I'm their only advertiser so I don't know I, it just makes me feel special I'm like I have a an only me kind of role at the moment All right. I like feeling special it's not crashing your computer <laughs> yeah, I know I know I know it's all that stuff too just, well, just the fact that how, like, right there, um, prior to this game, you saw what happened? Well, how I, we got kicked from the lobby because I went to try to add somebody. It kicked yep. me out of Xbox. And um, if that was, let's, let's just say it, if that was Milky Way, I would have had to close the entire game down. Like, I don't know about restart my computer, but probably close the entire game down. I have to reopen the unlocker, reopen the trainer, reopen the game, go through the whole, like, the whole, like, uh, scene, like the, whatever, all the intro stuff. And anyway, it would have taken, like, I don't know, like, five to ten minutes just to get back in the game. Whereas with this... I just signed right back into Xbox with my password and I was already like, I never left the game. It just worked. Nice. It works so smooth. Like people are talking trash and they'll be like, oh, FMP doesn't know how to code. They just stole it from Milky. Well, well first of all, whether that's true or not, they're all crooks because they're all stealing from behavior. So no, none of them are better than the other in terms of like being thieves or crooks or whatever you want to call it. But secondly, even if they did steal the code from Milky Way, if that's true, I don't know that it is, but supposing it is, they made it so much better, and they made it function so much better, and everything about it just works so much better. So whatever they did to that code made it run, like, just a hundred times smoother. So... Well, so even if they... So that tells you, like, there's no way that they 
are not good programmers that don't know how to make their own codes. If they could make it, if they could take something and turn it into something better, that's proof right there that they know what they're doing and that they're capable. Um, if they did steal it, it was probably just a smart move to um, save themselves the time and take a shortcut and be like, oh, we'll just take this and we'll make it <laughs> 10 times better. Like, why do we have to sit here and code this from scratch when we could easily just steal it from someone else and make it better? Like, it's actually the smart way, you know? Like, why do all the work when the work's already done? That's what they, that's what they did. I, we don't know, though. I, I'm just saying, like, all this, like, nonsense that people are saying about, like, talking trash mm -hmm. about FMP. The reason is, one, they, they work for Milky Way, so of course they're going to talk trash about it. And two, they've never used FMP, so they don't know how awesome it is. Oh my goodness, Meg, please. I see what you're saying, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's their job to hate on FMP because it's a competitor. But at the same time, they've never used it. And they're not going to use it because they're slaves to Master Milky. You know, and then, then that's not even talking about, like, the terrible personalities that that work for them. Yeah, the customer service needs a lot of work. And I'm not, like, I thought it was just me it happened to, but I've had several people come to me saying that they were treated like garbage, too. Yeah, they got issues with customer service, then. It's happening more than once. They can't deny it when it happens more than once in different people. But, that's, but see, the, that's other thing, undeniable. <laughs> the other thing that they're doing is they're spreading lies, like, in my server. Telling people that are interested in FMP, like, telling them that it's malware, it's got, it's going to put a virus on their computer. And then they're actually telling them, oh, here's the real FMP website. And it redirects them to Milky Way. All software is malware. It's what the malware does that makes it bad and good. But yeah. Yeah, but they're making it sound in a way that like this is going to put a virus on your computer and harm your computer and like blow it up, you know? <laughs> That's the way they're making it sound. They're trying to scare people. That's the typical tactic. Scare tactics. So it's just, you know, hard for me to speak any kind words about them after everything that they've done. But, you know, the fact that that FMP works so great, it's like, I'm not forcing myself to, you know, like, f for me, I'm not a salesperson, right? And when you think of a salesperson, it's like, you think of somebody that's has to convince you that something is good right mm -hmm. but but if you have a good product then you don't have to be a salesperson so to speak like you don't have to try to come up with reasons and convince people because if you actually have a good product that you believe in then it sells itself and you can speak highly of it without feeling like you're being deceptive you know. I know one product right now that does that exact thing. Levi jeans. You never see Levi jean commercials. You don't need them. They sell themselves. <laughs> I'm serious. You, you never see Levi jeans commercials. Do you? Advertisements in G and magazines, TV, internet commercials. Levi jeans sell themselves. You ever thought about that? <laughs> you don't, they don't need advertising. They automatically have the sale. They just gotta pl supply the product and the product sells itself. Oh, kill me. You see what I'm yeah, yeah. But that's not, that's not exactly what I mean. I'm just talking about like, yeah. like if, if 
if I were hired to sell something, but I didn't believe in the thing, I couldn't do it because I'd have to, I'd feel like I'm lying to somebody and trying to sell something that's not good. But I mean, I'm not a salesperson and I hate selling anything at all, but, but if I'm going to sell anything or promote anything or advertise anything or push anything, it has to be something that I actually believe in okay. and that I'm using myself and that I, you know, I actually, I can just truthfully speak about it without like making anything right. up. You know, I don't have to go and say, oh, don't get Milky Way because it's uh, going to put a virus on your computer <laughs> or something like that, you know, like, I'll just tell you Milky Way is trash for this reason, Windows that reason and the other. Windows is a virus, a big virus. If people even knew what happened in the background of Windows 10 and 11, they would just flip out. There's a lot of telemetry going back and forth between your computer and what you do on your computer and Microsoft. And then you got Google once you load your browser and you go to Google. Google's the same way. They are documenting so much information on everybody that uses it. So, I'll just put that out there. So, define malware. Is malware when someone sends information back from your computer without your knowledge? <laughs> That's what Windows does. <laughs> and Google. <laughs> yeah, so technically speaking, it's all the same. It's the exact it's software. <laughs> It's all what you define as malware. Is someone joining in here? Someone asked in your chat that they wanted to join. Well, now's the time. 